Landforms of erosion and deposition. In the middle course of the river, you get landforms created by the fluvial or river processes of landform and deposition, with both transportation and lateral erosion being prominent processes here. If you look at this OS map, you can clearly see the bending of this river. These bends are called meanders, and this is in the middle course of the River Clyde in Scotland. And this is an aerial photograph where you can see huge meanders, a tributary feeding the main river, and also an oxbow lake. If you were to slice across a meander, you would get something called a cross section. Now, on the inside of a river bend, the water is travelling slowly. This leads to deposition of sand, sediment and shingle. And this creates a slip-off slope, sometimes referred to as a point bar. However, on the outer curve of the meander, where the water is travelling fastest, lateral erosion occurs via hydraulic action and abrasion. And this undercuts the river bank, creating a river cliff. This photograph is, this diagram is a little bit more detailed and you can clearly see the water being forced to the outer curve. And this process of water being forced to the outer curve is called helicoidal flow and the fastest, deepest part of the river channel down here is called the Falwick. Now as this process of erosion and deposition continues, on the outer curve of meander where erosion is happening, a meander neck is formed. This neck gets closer and closer together due to the lateral erosion until times of high river discharge, e.g. a flood, the river channel breaks through and creates a new river channel. Deposition occurs here and this seals off the old river channel creating an oxbow lake. And here is a beautiful diagram photograph where you can see an oxbow lake also, you can see a point bar there and erosion that's still taking place on the river.